Justice and Fairness Justice and Fairness was written by John Rawls, a professor of philosophy in Harvard University. Ethics, justice, and fairness are what planners must be concerned of. In this chapter, Rawls sketches his main ideas, which are in the social contradiction of Locke, Rousseau, and Kant. Compared to other contracts' approaches, this one stresses that justice as fairness has two kinds of principles. First principle is the liberty principle. In short, everyone is entitled with basic freedom. Every individual has an equal right to basic liberties. Rawls claims that certain rights and freedoms are more important or basic than others. Each person has an equal right to a fully adequate scheme or equal basic liberties which is incompatible with a similar scheme or of liberties for all. Then the second principle is the equality of principle. Under the equality of principle, there are two subcategories or branches, first of which is the fair quality of opportunity, and the second is difference principle. Fair quality of opportunity. This principle maintains that offices and positions should be open to any individual regardless of his or her social background, ethnicity, or sex. It is stronger than formal equality of opportunity. In difference principle, all differences in wealth and income, all social and economic inequalities should work for the good of the least favored. Full of justice. Justice is the first virtue of social institutions. Each person possesses an inevitability founded on the justice that even the welfare or society as a whole cannot override. Justice denies that whenever someone loses freedom, a greater good is made by right by others. Therefore, the equality for each citizen are taken as settled. What then does an example of fairness tell us in the modern world? First, things as to what they are are unfair. It points out radically to the unfairness of the society. For example, the quality of living of life, whether it is based on the average life expectancy or the world income projected towards society. Imagine experiencing this in a day-to-day -day basis. It is hard for us not to think of our ambitions, and Rawls is deeply aware to those kinds of situations, especially if one wants to attain the American dream. Second, imagine ourselves sitting in a different position. Think about the struggles that we do to lift ourselves up just to cope up with the standard of living of our society. Imagine us being born in the different circumstances. And that is how the theory for justice was born. Thought of ignorance. Feel of ignorance people, they would be ignorant of the society from which they came from. Veil of ignorance would not know their own age, sex, race, social class, and other capabilities. So here's a short clip for you to better understand what justice and fairness really means. Good afternoon class, today we will be talking about political philosophy and John Rawls. Rawls was focused on how to create a society that was just and fair. What ideas did Rawls have to create a fair society? Well Rawls came up with the two principles of justice. The first being that everyone is entitled to basic freedoms and the second is the difference principle. What are basic freedoms and the difference principle? Basic freedoms are things like freedom of speech, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness as well as the fair value of political liberties. That is, citizens similarly endowed and motivated should have the same opportunities to hold office, to influence elections, and so on regardless of their social class. The difference principle is meant to show there can be inequality within society as long as it makes the worst person better off. Financial inequalities are meant to help society as a whole. Rawls then created a thought experiment called the original position to support his principles. Which is if there were representatives from society who were behind a veil of ignorance. The veil being that they don't know where they will end up in society. For example they won't know if they will be rich or poor, smart or unintelligent. 
So if you didn't know these things you would most likely chose the principles fairest to all.